What is going on everybody? Spiker Zenith here. Today I'm going to be doing a uh, quick hardware review of the Core Master CM Storm Devastator series keyboard and mouse. Now this only comes as a bundle. It's available in uh, a red backlight, a blue backlight, or a green backlight. I do have the green backlight here. And uh, the mouse that comes with it, I'm going to start with that first. It is, uh, it's pretty light. It doesn't really weigh anything. Uh, it is optical. It does have the uh, a DPI selection up here. It can go from 1000 to 1600 to 2000 DPI. Uh, it does have a uh, back and forward key uh, for browsing. However, I did not have any software that came with this, so I don't really know if there's any available on the Cooler Masters website. There may be, uh, but I don't see any other way to program these two buttons here. Uh, you just have to use your in-game settings, and if it'll map to those buttons, then you're good to go. Uh, it does have a pretty nifty light here on the front. It's got like three little uh, bars on the front there on each side. It's kind of neat. Lights up your area. Uh, the mouse really isn't the star of this. It does have a rubber grip on the side and it doesn't feel terrible in your hands. It's not bad feeling. Uh, but you know, it's, it's just a mouse. You really can't do anything with it. It looks okay. It does have a scroll wheel and the scroll wheel is it's pretty notchy. It's not bad. I don't know how well that's going to hold up. Uh, you can go left or right with that. Um, it also has also obviously a third mouse wheel as well. Uh, third mouse button rather. Uh, it does not too bad. The quality isn't terrible. It's just very lightweight, and I don't know how well that's going to hold up over time. But the real star of this combo is this keyboard. It does have rubberized and they're laser etched keys. Now the the rubberized material on there. I'm not a fan of rubberized material on anything. Uh, it does tend to wear off over time, over a period of a couple of years. I wonder how well this is going to hold up for us. Uh, now it does have the. Uh, the, the multimedia keys up here in the top corner. It has a stop, play, and pause, uh, back and forward for the music track. Uh, that does have volume keys over here, and I love keyboards that have separate volume keys and separate multimedia keys because I listen to a lot of music personally, and I find it very, very useful to have those keys. However, there's one Achilles heel with this keyboard. When you turn it on, when you first start your computer, it does not have the backlight on. And when you push the scroll lock key, which is your backlight key, which is ridiculous, it should have a separate button for the backlight, but that's a whole other story. Uh, when you have the, the backlight off, you can't see any of this, even in the best of lighting conditions. I don't know if the camera's picking that up very well, but you cannot read those keys at all. So in a dimly lit situation, or even in broad daylight, you cannot read this. Now the locator keys on here, uh, on the F and J, for your home keys, that's fairly, it's fairly well raised. I mean, you, you'll be able to find that okay. But if you're a hunt and peck kind of guy, or if you're a, you know, what, a 10 year old kid playing on the computer for the first time, remembering to hit that key is a little annoying. Uh, but it's not the worst thing in the world, I suppose. The backlighting is very nice. It's very, uh, very even throughout the keyboard. So I can't, I've got to give it credit for that. The build quality of the keys, uh, that's not mechanical. It looks mechanical. These are pretty well raised. So it's a very classic uh, design as far as the keys go. And I, I kind of like that personally, a little bit of a raised key on there. Uh, it's not too bad, it doesn't make too much noise when you're doing things. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. But I'll tell you, when you restart the computer and this light is off, it almost kills this whole setup for me. Unless there's a way to turn it on with some software and keep it on, it really should be on by default. And it's just not. Now I don't know how well it's going to hold up over time as far as the uh, switch gear goes, but it seems, it seems like it's pretty decent quality. Uh, but for $30 for the combo, you get a keyboard and a mouse. You used to be able to buy a Microsoft combo for that years ago. You could probably buy it for $20 now. And they didn't have a cool backlight like this one does. So, anyway guys, uh, this is not terrible. It does have a, uh, on the back side here, as you can see, it has the little tabs here to uh, give it a little bit of adjustment. And those don't seem like they're going to break anytime soon. They're pretty solid. Uh, but for a, for a cheap keyboard mouse setup, it's not too bad. Anyway, guys, uh, that concludes this review of the uh, Cooler Master CM Storm mouse and keyboard combo. Uh, my final verdict is if it's not bad for the price, uh, but don't expect miracles for $30. All right, guys, if you like what you would seen here, give me a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.